On part one of today's episode, we attempt to build a raft out of soda bottles, but struggle with the weather. Oh, we had a speedboat out. I have an idea. I do. People build boats out of stupid things, right? Yeah. Top Gear built one out of a car. And Mythbusters built a speedboat out of pie creep. Well, we have no way near skill required for that. I know, but we can still build a raft, right? How about soda bowls? I mean, we have a boat with hydro from all the Diet Coca Mentos. That might work. We can work out how much weight one bottle can hold, and then do the math and see how big the raft needs to be. Sounds like a plan. What's all this for? Well, we're building a boat out of two litre bottles, but we need to know how much one bottle can support, how much weight it can support, so we can times it up and figure out how many bottles we need. It takes a lot of force to push it down. So we're going to have to add weights to it and see how much oh. weight it takes to push it down. Oh god, so, the water's freezing. So we've got these weights here, we're going to attach them on there until the bottle sinks and then we'll know exactly how much uh, it takes. Okay, so we're going to tape some weight to it. Now, I have a, I have a rough idea of how much uh, how much weight it's going to take, and I've got a funny feeling it'll take at least two of these for any change. So we're just going to tape the weights to the bottle. So that's uh, one weight. <laughs> ah! Slipped right over. Did it sink? Not really. So it, we still need we still need a lot more weight, I'd say. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we need a lot more weight, so let's bring it back out. Okay, so we've got more weight, let's pop it in. Uh, I can hardly lift it. Let's hope it sinks. Does it sink? A little bit. It's still floating though. My god. We need to add more weight. You can lift it. It's basically, I think what we can say is, it is supporting this much, let's go. It's supporting this much weight, but only just. You know what I mean? Yeah. So we're going to add one more weight, but I don't think it will support it. Oh, that's freezing. So we'll add one more weight, and if it sinks, then we have a rough idea of how much uh, how much buoyancy the bottles have. And oh. that, they have quite a lot of buoyancy. Okay. So one more weight, let's do it. This should sink. It doesn't look like it will. Ready? Yep. Yay! Yay! Yay. Yay! So basically we know at what point the bottle will no longer support water. We've got ourselves bread or a hand so far. What did we come up with? Okay, I've done the math. To float me or you, we need 50 empty 2 litre soda bottles. Is that a big raft? Not huge, but it'll definitely fit you. Is there anything left to do or should we just go out and build it? Nope. Let's go build the raft. Okay, we're building a bottle boat. What's the plan? It's quite simple. We've had a lot of thought about it. We've, you know, we've discussed different ways of doing it. This is the way we're going to do it. We've got a line of bottles here, and we're going to get ten lines of bottles, sellotape them together, and then we're going to make five of these. Now, the reason for that is we need the boat so it can be collapsible and easily transported. So we're going to make these little pontoons, sellotape them all together, then we're going to get five of these and string them together tightly, and then that'll be the boat. So there's nothing left to do but time lapse. attaching the underwater camera to our raft. Uh, this is the first test, we're going to put it in the water very shortly. The underwater camera, it may or may not go into water, but it is able to in case it sinks, which is, let's face it, quite likely. Yeah, got it, where I've got it. Yeah, got it. I'm just gonna break. No, no, keep going, keep going, keep going. Right, you have to keep going forward, keep going forward. <coughs> yeah, you have to stay central. Okay, 
Okay, that might work. Alright, move this way a bit. Well, this way. This way. This way. This way. Uh, and I got forward. When you started to... What? I'm stuck. So we built a raft using 50 bottles and we got pretty poor results. Yes, it was too small and didn't support even me very well. I've got an idea for a second raft. It uses two layers and 80 bottles. Hopefully it'll even support me. Time as builder, here we go. As soon as we'd finished building the new raft, the weather turned bad. Finally, we were able to test the raft. How is it? Much better? Yeah, I think. Right, do you got your stick? What? Yeah, I want my sticky. Oh. Okay, we built two rafts. Which do you prefer? I think I prefer the second one because I actually had more stronger and much, much, much bigger. Yeah, uh, that was the one made out of 80 bottles instead of 50. Um, I'm fed up testing it in the pool though. You can't go anywhere. What? Do you have any ideas? Yep. Yeah. Um, why don't we go down to a river and try it? That's a perfect idea, but first, I need a bit of a physical release. Aye, you're an idea. If you want a physical release, then try this. Where's your bit? Where's the other bit? I've got the other bit. Oh. Um, what do you think about that? Awesome! Oh, um, um, I didn't think it would empty so quickly. I know. <laughs> it's only like two minutes. The pool's empty! So we're finally happy with the raft. We tested in the pool and we've gone out to the river, yeah? Yes we are. Let's stop fluffing about here and go. Remember to watch part two to see how the raft handles in the river as we take it for a sail.